Like anywhere else, COVID was a big scare. Living on the island was really beneficial. We're already a small community. Everybody is already in their respective bubbles. Trying to get services here is a bit tough. Shemanis is a four hour round trip. It also gave us a good opportunity to advance with our tech and we were able to do things that we never thought were possible. Robotics came out of an aviation company. We recognized early on that drones were going to make a big impact on society overall. One of the big things that they had to be able to do is they had to fly long distances, they had to be autonomous, and had to be big enough to be able to carry payloads. My name is Farron Charlie. I'm the health director for Penelicate Health. My role is to bring medical services to the community as well as program services in regards to mental health, physical health. We decided to be a part of the project. I see it as a bigger picture for our other First Nations communities who are equally as remote, if not more. My name is Rex Sellers. I'm the president for Rogers Communications for British Columbia. We're looking to help companies come up with some great solutions. For example, with Indo Robotics, uh, it's a relatively small organization that's come up with some very cool applications that can leverage our network, but can also ride off the 5G platform down the road. We're delighted to find out when we went to Penelicate that they've actually got a really strong cellular service using the Rogers network. We flew the drone around in a grid pattern using the cradle point system to be able to give us a heat map of where the cell service is strong. We were comfortable that we had cellular service throughout the entire mission and through any alternative routes we would like to take. Islands such as Penelicate are somewhat cut off and in ways often want to remain that way. Presently, it takes about four plus hours for them to be able to get the sample from Penelican Island to Vancouver Island. With the new technology now, we can fly the drone from Shimanis to Penelican, taking over equipment or PPE or the samples, and it only takes seven minutes. It also puts the nurse back in the community. They no longer have to get on the ferry. They can continue to deliver the services that they need to the community. You see how remote we are as an island. It takes a day for us to get our prescriptions. If we have the drone, we could be getting it the same day. I do see it benefit in Penelicate a lot. We've got a great team of people that are really interested in seeing our technology hit the ground in ways that aren't just focused always on urban solutions, but we're looking for the innovation and the unique stories that we see in rural, remote and indigenous communities. They want these networks so that they can upload and they can share with us and they can teach us lessons. To be able to see something that was just in somebody's mind to actually be uh, used in a, uh, what can be a life-saving situation, is just incredible. That's exciting for us. We're paving the way for other remote communities. I do definitely feel a sense of pride that we'll be able to bring this to other First Nations communities, and I think it's a really cool legacy for our community to have. <laughs>